Alright, Cubs, how's it hanging? Just to let you know, this video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery, bringing you free off. Alright, Cubs, so what we do first is go into App Gallery, and then we change the country region to Italy, Netherlands, or Greece, and then we go on to Age of Z. Then it'll bring you to the Age of Z Office page. So, as you scroll down here, you can see Offer 1 is a free Huawei App Gallery gift code. Just type in App Gallery gift. Offer two is a 10% cash back in Huawei points. Uh, now, one Huawei point equals one euro, so build it more and you can get more free packs through it. Offer three is a free four euro coupon. And then, offer last offer is basically the Discord server. Now, if you're so, we'll take it into the game here, you click on any pack you want. So, here, Lucky Coins, for instance. So, you just click the Lucky Coins. Automatically deducts off the percentage. So you just click next. It will take you to the terms and conditions. Read it if you feel like it. I don't anyway. But this campaign does end on the 30th of June. Alright, clubs, how's the hanging? So today I have one question for you. Is the midline the new backline? Now the reason why I ask this question is because I have no idea. I'll tell you what I mean why I have no idea. And why I'm asking this question. So I have no idea because I've not even considered midline being, you know, the attackers. I've always known it being the backline because they're the strongest attack power, even on the base stats of the troops compared to the midline. Now the reason why I'm asking this question is because in recent Global Conquest and Chaos Land, I have seen Castle Thirty Threes and above using T eleven midlines over T11 backlines. Obviously T11 backlines you don't get to a Castle 35 anyway, but I have seen Castle 35s using midlines instead of backlines. Now I'm slightly confused to why they're using this and you know is this the new tactics, is this new strategy? Because what I've always believed in is your front line is strong defense, slow attack. Your midline is balanced between the defense and the attack. So they're not really strong at attacking, but they're not very right, easy to kill. Then your backline is high attack and low defense. Now I've always believed you always need a strong front line, you know, to take the take most of the hits, and a strong backline to deal the most damage. Now here we have an internal war within our nation. Now I'm not taking sides. I'm not even a part of this war. I've just seen this report. And it's happened again. T11 midlines have popped up. So what's the story behind it? So we'll have a look into this report. Now, I'll be honest with you. This person um, who attacked, it was against five people at 2.1 million troops. But the troops that the uh, defenders sent or had all lower tiers. Now, even though they are lower tiers, how many times have you got against like this many people and had this much results of lost units plus wounded? So look, you had 1.6 million overall of wounded and losses combined. I have never in, in my life even hit anywhere close to what about 500k, especially against five people. Now this guy hit 1.6 million. Let's have a look into his reports. We'll start with attacker first, Jay. This guy spends money on the game, he's got a massive amount of castles and they're all strong. So let's have a look what he sent. So you see here on the T11 side, he's got front line, mid line and basically no back line. As you can see here, 250 cannons. Now usually when you castle 35, you just send full whack cannons because they're supposed to do the most damage. In this guy's case he didn't, he sent two mid lines instead. We have a look at his stats. So as you can see, his long range attack is just under 500%. Now that's not good for a castle 35, because what he's done is like he's took it off his long range attack and added it onto his mid range attack. So as you can see, his mid range attack now is over a thousand percent. Now the theory that I have in my head is basically if you want to make your mid line stronger, the percentage compared to what you need on your midline on your backline sorry needs to be a lot higher to balance it out. So over a thousand percent it's quite strong. So let's have a look at what go back up to a second. 
So another machine gun is actually like a Castle 33. And he sent most of them. And then you laser guys after that. They're at Castle 35. And he didn't send, he sent about probably almost just over half of what he sent his machine gunners. Now let's go over to the defenders and see what they had. So the first person who he attacked had straight up 1.2 million troops. I'll just quickly show you through. You know, you've got T10s, not as much. But they've got more T9s with some T8s. Stats. I'm looking at long range attack straight because that's the one that I always get attracted to. Not very good. Next one. <laughs> this person only killed 185 of the enemy troops. Yet again, straight up T9s. Looking at stats, yet again, long range. 223% rubbish next person here we go t10s are now popped up they sent some t9 cannons which you do decent long range attack 473 almost the same as j the attacker on his long range and the next guy this guy sent some t11s not very much so i'm assuming he didn't have a lot but as you see here his cannons what did they get? They only got 433, 4,336 kills. Sorry, I got confused there. Let's have a look at stats. Long range, 555. Five, five. Pretty, that's pretty good. I always say, if you get long range over 500%, that is really good stats to have for your long range. So having 555.7% five, five, long range, amazing. Next guy, T10s with some T9s and some T8s. Let's look at his stats. 313 on long range. I'm not exactly thrilled about that. I don't know the castle level of these people. I'm not going to go clicking the location to see the castle level of these people. But I'm just looking off what the troops are. So 400k, still 400k against over 2.1 million, almost 2.15 million troops and he killed just over 1.6 million well killed slash wounded altogether now i don't know about you guys but when i've done the hit i have never even killed or in slash wounded over 500k troops especially against five people i've probably can manage against one person if lucky and that's it a really lot of tier troops so let's watch the battle So as you can see here, don't forget it's 1.2 million troops straight away on the defense side. And the midline, they're just flying through the front and midline. They actually made the way to the back line within 15 seconds. That is ridiculous. So here comes the reinforcements. This will be good for a stagger. Don't really do much. Here comes some more reinforcements, some more stagger ability, more reinforcements again. They're just not, they're not doing any benefit as the stagger ability at all. His midline is still just flying through all the troops we've got. Now I can see why he's got machine through machine gunner. He's not even lost much on his machine gunner sides. They seem to be taking literally no damage and doing the most damage. So as you see there, overall end of it, there's no back line. There's only one set of front line, 2.6k zombies left with the laser guys and the machine gunners. So now, the question again, is the midline going to be the new backline? Now if you have a theory or if you have any thoughts on this, please leave in the comments below because I really want to know. I'm really intrigued to find out which way is the best way to go forward because I just hit Castle 33. I haven't unlocked my T11 machine gunners yet. But now I'm really heavily considering actually pushing for that first before pushing the garage for an extra march increase and stuff. Because if they're going to be worth it, I'm going to blast them out now and looking to change my stats. But yet again, like I said, he did have 400k troops, but he was against two, over 2.1 million troops. And having 1.6 million kills slash wounded, one hit, it's really good. So if you like this video, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on the bell notification for all future videos. 
I may dive a bit more deeper into the formation side of it and see if we can do a few videos on that for you and see if we can come up with the best formation for some really epic battles out there. So until next time my cubbies, take care.